One piece of advice I always give the young players coming into the NFL is not to take the end of year awards for granted. Between the star power on hand and the amazing history of the league, it is an honor to be there. I took the time to rest up and get ready for the next season. I tried to focus on getting my mind and body right, you know? And I needed it for what came next. That was a comeback for the ages, and it was a treat to watch. <laughs> It was one of those situations where when you've been around long enough, you just start to see the game differently. It's almost like everything slows down around you. Thinking back, what part of the process did you enjoy the most? The crowds went totally wild when all of us stepped out of the tunnel and onto the field. Talk about a major adrenaline rush. It was just after camp, and Coach called me in to talk about the preseason games. I didn't think anything of it at the time.
tonight. From FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. It's week two of the NFL preseason on EA Sports. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. 27 yard line. First and ten. High. And his first pass is incomplete. Intended for number 24. Incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. And he comes back with one complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I'll give him 14 on that one and a first down. So, Charles, this the second week of action here in the preseason. It's a time where, you know, talking heads like you and me start making our predictions for Super Bowl favorites in this upcoming campaign. And I tell you, there have been a good many folks who think that this team on offense right now has what it takes to lift that Lombardi trophy come February. Yeah, and I don't think they've had to do a lot of extra time in the weight room in order to make sure they're able to lift that trophy. This team... It's flat out loaded, especially when you talk about the offense. Top to bottom, one of the best offenses in the league. They have everything you're looking for at all spots. Yeah, they're going to tinker around with different things here in the preseason. But bottom line, they think they're as explosive as anyone in the league, and they can't wait to put it on display. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. It's 21. First down, Lions. Off the play fake. High. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. Makes it second and ten. From the 21, it's second and ten. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. 13-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The first carry now. This is Johnson. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To throw again. High. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. The former Ohio State Buckeye Dwayne Haskins ready to run the controls for the Washington offense. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Throwing left side. It's complete. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. 75 yards. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. The offense set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. On first down, high, and oh, this is taken in one handed. What a catch. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Throwing on first down. High. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 
Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's a first down throw. It's complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. It's a gain of so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. Here's a quick throw caught out wide. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Complete. A good pickup there, 21 yards. First and goal. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Devin Funches there to make the grab as his guys have now moved out in front. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The time. After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. They begin the drive with Johnson. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. Johnson, the ball Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. A little more room here on second and six from the six. From the gun. High. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. And that's caught inside the 30. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. A gain of 43 yards. I think we already know that this guy's going to be ready when they ring the bell for week one. That play, almost routine for him, but still, nice to know that he's still got it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. As we thought they might do here in week two of the preseason, they've left their starting quarterback out there for this second quarter, but I would imagine we will not see him after halftime. Yeah, this is the time of year you've got to get your backup some reps and make sure you protect your starting quarterback. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line, 12-yard line. First and that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver, although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Operating from the gun. High. And he rifles one incomplete. You know, during these preseason games, we're in week two right now. It's always funny looking at our spot charts up here in the booth because with all the guys that might play in this one, it seems to get bigger and bigger each year. Yeah, we pretty much supersize them, don't we? Because, you, you know, remember, they're carrying nine. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. A loss of six yards. And it's third down. Third and long. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. He and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Here's Dustin Hopkins, Hopkins now to try the field goal. A 28-yard attempt. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. Washington, 10. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. 
first and ten. Hyde. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. First down, Detroit. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, Hyde. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, the first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. Didn't get it, but we know they're going to continue to be bold. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally brought down at the 43. Roughing the passer defense. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before on a screen pass. Not only are you rushing the passer, you're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, and he takes this one in for a Lions wow. touchdown. To number 24. From eight yards out, and the Lions have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve it. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to... to see and making it extra special not only did i get four quarters with you in this one i got some overtime a little whipped cream on top look at you trying to make this whole thing palatable i just want you to pay for my meal later hey, you really just wanted four quarters what you <laughs> wanted but how much fun was that we had that type of a game where we got us to overtime and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well what a game so that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Washington, thanks for watching, and good night, everybody. With one solid performance to kick things off, the press wanted to know if and how we could keep that up. But it was still the preseason. 
Little did I know the impact my answer would have down the road. <laughs>